In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the programming language R, as well as an incredibly powerful user interface to R called RStudio. Both of these are completely free. I'll also give you some tips on how to customize the appearance of R to make sure you have it looking just the way you want it to. So why do we need to download two separate things, both R and RStudio? If you think of R as a car's engine and RStudio as the car itself, the car is the wrapper around the engine that makes everything so much more user-friendly. So R, as the car's engine, is the core component. It's the programming language that's going to be powering your data analysis and the statistical computations that we're going to be learning on this course. Without the engine, the car, i.e. the data analysis tasks, can't really function. So R is essential and powerful, but using it alone can be like trying to operate the, the car's engine without the other parts of the car. It's entirely possible, but it's not really user-friendly and it's not gonna be efficient for you as a, as a learner. On the other hand, you can think of R Studio as the car itself. It's known as an integrated development environment or IDE. So it's like the whole car that's built around the engine. It not only includes the engine, but also adds many features that's going to make your life a lot more comfortable on the ride of data analysis. RStudio provides the user-friendly interface to R, and it gives you tools like a console, a script editor, and panels for viewing your data, plots, and help functions, etc. that's going to be making uh, your use of R so much more enjoyable. To download R and RStudio, go to posit.co slash download. Posit is the company that owns RStudio, but it's completely free. Once there, select the Download R Studio button, and it will take you to a page where you can install the programming language R and R Studio itself. Select Download and Install R, and make sure you select the correct operating system for your computer. For me, it's a Mac. And also make sure you select the correct package. Follow the on-screen instructions once this is downloaded, and then go back to the original screen. Then select Install R Studio, and follow the on-screen instructions for this. Once you open our studio for the first time, it should look something like you see on the screen now. It will tell you the version of R that you have installed. So this is the version of the programming language that you installed in the previous step. Our versions will be slightly different just due to date differences, but this should show a relatively recent date for you. Our studio is split into separate windows. We have over on the left here, what's known as the console, this is where we're going to be entering uh, direct instructions to R to perform simple computations. We're obviously going to cover this in the next video and future videos, but for an example, you can use R as a calculator, just do two plus two, hit return, and it gives you the response four. This is a nice check just to make sure everything's installed and working properly. On the right-hand side in the upper screen, we have a tab that shows uh, various things. It shows, first of all, our environment, as we move into future videos and we start to talk about variables, etc., we'll have uh, an overview of the variables that we've been creating and data sets that we've imported, etc., in this environment. You can click on history. That will show you a history of all of the commands that you've provided in the console. Uh, connections you don't need to really worry about at the moment and tutorial. Of course, in this video, we're going to be covering the tutorial, but there's also standalone tutorials that you can access. And in particular, this Learn R package is a very good uh, introduction to R. In the bottom right, you have an overview of any files that you have in your directory. We're going to cover this in a future video. We also have plots. So as we create plots, they all appear in this plot tab. So don't worry about what I'm typing now, but I'm just going to do a quick plot of something. Let me just move me out the way. And as you see, the plots will be showing up in this area of the screen as we create them. We will talk about packages in a future video. They're like apps for your phone, but these are apps for RStudio. They extend the usability of R for a variety of different functions. There's help files for a variety of, of aspects, and we'll come to learn on the course that for any function that we want to know how to use, for example, how do we use the, the, the mean function to calculate averages, we can select this and it will show help files in uh, the console window. Viewer and presentation, we don't need to worry about for the duration of this course. 
you can customize our studio quite a lot in terms of its appearance to make sure you've got it looking the way you want it to look so your sessions of data analysis are a lot more comfortable. To do this, in the Mac version, you go to Tools and Global Options. And in the Windows version, you're looking for uh, Global Options within one of the menus. So you click on Global Options, and this will bring up all of the uh, different categories of which you can customize. In this video, we're only going to focus on the Appearance. So click on the Appearance tab, and it brings up a variety of options that we can customize. We're going to leave the theme and the zoom and the font the same, but of course you can have a play around with changing those. You can change the font size. At the moment, I've got it on a pretty large font to make sure it's okay on the screen for this tutorial. But of course you can move that to a smaller uh, size if you wish, or a larger size. You can also change the font size of the help panel font, which is the, uh, the help text that we showed just a moment ago. So you can make this bigger or smaller. But the main element of, uh, of change you may want to make is to the theme. At the moment, everything is in light mode. And for my tastes, um, this is a little bit too bright for when I'm doing an extended data analysis session. So you'll have a variety of options that you can cycle between. The number of options will change based on your operating system and the uh, default installation that came with your RStudio version. But just go through these and just find one that you like the look of. You get a preview of each, uh, each option in, on the screen. So just go through all options until you see something that you like the look of. My favorite option is the Base 16 One Dark. This is a nice dark theme with good contrast for the, uh, for the script. An alternative to this, if you don't have that option, is Dracula. Again, a really nice uh, dark theme mode with good distinction between different elements of the code. Once you've found one that you're happy with, just click Apply, and that will then apply to your session. Then click OK. And R Studio will remember your preferences so that next time you come to open R, it will have the same options for you. So that was just a quick video showing you how to install the programming language R and the user interface R Studio, as well as how to customize the appearance of R Studio, making it comfortable for you. In the next video, we'll begin your programming journey and we'll look at simple operations in R. See you in the next video. Cheers.